Okay, we're back inside the Cube, our flagship telecast. We go out to the events, talk to the thought leaders, experts, uh, gurus, entrepreneurs, anyone we can find our hands. Baseball stars, Dave Vellante. <laughs> uh, I'm John Furrier, my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of uh, Wikibon.org, and we're here with Torsten Stefan, who uh, is involved in the mobile applications business uh, with SAP. Welcome. That's right. Thank you very much. Yeah, so talk about your role a little bit. I mean, mobile, we're hearing a lot about mobile. You guys are into I mobile, so. I'm guessing. Yes, it's, that's uh, correct. That's the theme that I'm hearing very strongly, and, uh, and it's coming through loud and clear, so you're in a good place, um, not only from the market standpoint, but from SAP's perspective. So talk about your role, and yeah, sure. we'll get into it. Yeah, absolutely. So I mean, for the, uh, from an application perspective, SAP, uh, we want to provide to all customers really best-of-class mobile applications, right? And But from a design perspective, it's for us very important to be very uh, user-centric. So that means it needs to be uh, very designed to the user needs, uh, it needs to fit to the different mobile capabilities of actually the application need to be enriched with the device capabilities via location-based services, those kind of things uh, that you can link in the applications into the devices and you have a great user experience uh, provided to the mobile user. And we talk about a class of devices uh, and uh, I'm sure you have one of a few of those, I guess. Several, like, yeah. <laughs> Dozens. Tablets and, and smartphones compared to the uh, to the early days of mobility where you had rather very specialized mobile devices. But the world has changed a lot, so we are uh, well on track on that. We have a wonderful underlying mobile platform that supports all the different needs for us from an application perspective. So we can focus on the application development and have quite some, some applications shipped already. And uh, we have uh, happy customers using them. And uh, we, of course, are developing more and more. So, how long have you been with SAP? With SAP, uh, I would say almost now uh, 15 years. Okay, so plenty to answer this question. So, take us back to the point at which SAP realized that, you know, you, companies have this epiphany. You know, we're going to go after X, you know, yeah. and, and you come up with this mantra, this vision, and the leader says, there's the mountain, go climb it kind of thing. Take us back to the point at which you had the epiphany on mobile. Yeah, I mean, for, for us, it was uh, very clear. I mean, many years back, put it that way, we had dedicated mobile roles, right, where you had the sales reps going out, their field service, technicians after sales services, but those were special environments where they worked. And, uh, but for, for us, it was very important on where do the users go? In what environment do users work? And for us, it was very clear a few years back, and you have seen the impact of the iPhone and then on, on the iPad and the other smartphones appearing in the market, uh, you could really recognize <coughs> the world, the consumption of data has changed a lot. And that was for us very clear because we want to provide the front end, the mobile application to the mobile user. So we don't basically want to lose the mobile user, uh, the, the user in that sense, the mobile user. And for us, it's, uh, it's just a natural next thing to do. So on the apps, obviously mobile's hot. We all know that. App Store's hot. But Schnappley talks about this business social network as an intelligence and great vision. You buy into it 100%. Um, by the way, love it. But talk about the verticals now, because in the enterprise, certain verticals pop relative to the adoption. What are you seeing for verticals now? So we heard financial oil and gas, other hot areas within data. Are you seeing trends around certain verticals where the uptake of the mobile apps are, are off the charts? Yeah, I mean, we have uh, some classical verticals, right, um, in the areas of uh, utilities, oil and gas, um, manufacturing, right? So those are the areas where you can uh, benefit a lot from uh, those kind of mobile applications. Um, and uh, what we often see do is uh, we have also our applications built in a way that they work across industries and have certain industry enhancements. Also partners can pick up the mobile application and enhance them to the dedicated industry needs. So we are very flexible. We are putting a lot of effort and um, view on the, on the ecosystem. So we invite our, our uh, partners to participate in the show. Uh, we offer them certification. We offer them visibility. And so, yeah, um, yeah, you guys have yeah. done a good job, I will say, on the ecosystem. Yeah. You have a nice developing ecosystem around mobile, which is great. Um, and those verticals are pretty obvious, utilities, yeah. et cetera. People are on the, on the mobile. They're on the mobile. Um, but if you want to get more those Facebook developer-like mm -hmm. guys out there, go with the enterprise, what would you share with them with the hot verticals? Give some insight into, for the, for the developers out there, where they should be working on. What, do you see, what would you say to them? Yeah, on the one inside, since you mentioned, uh, let's say, uh, developers that are not usually uh, work in the classical SAP uh, space. Um, so on the one side, from a, also need to mention that from a platform perspective, so we are opening up the industry standards. So that means the development protocols are basically uh, industry standard like OData, open data protocol, so that you as a, as a mobile developer can really understand 
um, the language, the, uh, uh, the kind of how to build mobile applications. We have uh, blocked in additional partnerships on top of the platform so that you can really easily build mobile applications on top of the SAP systems. For the what kind to focus on, <coughs> so that it's also very clear, uh, wherever you can uh, enrich kind of the natural processes that we do. You, you talked about uh, social media, so wherever uh, you are focusing in on HR applications, wherever you have content you want to share with others, um, and that is obviously something in general I would tell developers, uh, take something like that uh, we do from a classic business process perspective and offer and try to enrich it with very mobile specific enhancements and always bringing the picture like the, the personalization of the application with the support of the mobile device, like who, where and when, like also the timing at the end, you end up then in the situation in which the mobile uh, user is using the application. And if you can enrich with the skill set of a mobile developer these kind of prepackaged applications that we do, then this is just a classical area where you can bring a lot of value. So just to be clear, I'm following up on John's question. So you, your specific strategies to enable application developers to develop mobile apps on the SAP platform. That's correct. Um, and, and what kind of time frame do you expect that adoption to occur? Is that a, is that a this year? Or is that more of a five-year vision? Yeah, I mean, we have this year uh, just recently announced new partnerships like with Accenture, PhoneGap, Accelerator, and all of those have already a certain developing uh, community out there. So that means those tools are known on how to do mobile apps. Now we bring them in into our uh, platform environment so that they can build the mobile apps on top of SAP. And with that, we see already uh, an increase on, uh, on the adoption of uh, um, uh, new developers, so to speak, on that. But uh, this is clearly something we need to continue to, to push further. What are the, what are the, where, where's the friction uh, when you talk to customers in terms of their, what are they afraid of in terms of adopting mobile? What's the barrier? Well, the barrier, I mean, it's obviously also the freedom of choice, right? So on the one hand side, you have plenty of mobile devices that you uh, actually need to, from a corporate perspective, need to look into, are they secure enough? Are they fulfilling my needs? On the other side, uh, the end users are pushing hard to IT already and say, I want to have this device, you know, bring your own device uh, point of view. I want to use my private device into in the corporate environment and want to have some business applications on that one, not just mobile email, but more like also employee uh, services, manager services, those kind Everything. of things. Everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you you want to use it because you don't want to have a second device, right? So, so those are the kind of, let's say, um, the flexible areas where they're just asking for guidance. So is it sort of the the fear of having to support so many, opening Pandora's box, if you will, um, or, or maybe not being able to clearly understand the business case? Um, um, I would say on the one hand side, it's like, you know, you need to open up your, your security uh, environment, right? That is always something very critical. You, you're happy then doing that. Yeah. And uh, you are allowing then someone from a uh, personally equ equipped device to connect to your internet. That is always like a security question. And that is definitely something where we provide a great solution for, and they are asking for guidance. On the other side, obviously, also, uh, we give them the chance for very obvious, uh, let's say, uh, rather uh, simple mobile applications to start with, be it like in the employee environment, on from a time entry perspective, from an absence management, those kind of things, or travel expense management, very natural things that uh, the end users would also adopt. I heard you guys had a lot of downloads this week, um, 800 downloads uh, uh, from the app for this week uh, around the software. Um, what's your expectation for the app application store and application market in the next few months? Can you give us some goals? Yeah, I think for, for us it's important that uh, you know we provide the end-to-end -end story to our customers, and therefore an application store has to be part of the story. And uh, what we provide with our SAP store is also uh, a the customer to have a single point to go to, to browse through all the offerings that we are doing, and also to the certified partners that we are offering. So for him, it, the customer is not getting lost, so to speak, on, on iTunes or somewhere trying to find like which applications would be uh, running on the SAP system. And therefore, the, the SAP store is for us an essential step to really complete the, the service base we want to offer. All right, great. Now, final question before we end the segment is share with the folks something in the future, five years from now. What's going to be like? <laughs> what's our world going to be like relative to mobile? Shoot the arrow forward and try to give a prediction. 
Yeah, I think it's uh, it's pretty simple. I, I would say you know you you have just uh, the mobile device is, is already today your communication hub, but it's it's the only communication thing that you have, right? From that device, all the whatever kind of friends, business is all coming together. It's like consumer and business in one thing, and it will not take five years. Okay, mobile everywhere, cloud everywhere, Dave. Uh, Torsten, Stefan, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. It was uh, great invite. to meet you, and uh, good luck you. with everything. I think you guys are you know, picking the right spot, and uh, we'll be watching. We've got more guests Thank coming you. up. Obviously, we're waiting on a couple key highlights here. Reggie Jackson's coming, um, Snabe's coming, CEO of SAP. Oliver is coming, CIO, and Oliver a bunch Boosman, of other guests, yeah. so Oliver Boosman. So great uh, lineup coming this afternoon. And Hasso, yeah, the founder of SAP, is coming on. So um, if you're an SAP fan, stay with us and we're going to have some great guests. And again, this independent cube would not be possible without the generous support of SAP and EMC. Um, we'll be right back.